Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Shakespeare. My name is Michael. Today is Thursday, and that means we're taking a look at another one of Shakespeare's histories. And today we're going to dive into Richard III. And for once, we're not going to do a speech from its villainous lead. We are instead going to take a look at his brother, George Plantagenet. This is him speaking to Sir Robert Brakenberry about a dream that he had while he was in the Tower of London before his eventual execution. Oh, I have passed a miserable night. So full of ugly sights, of ghastly dreams, that as I am a Christian faithful man, I would not spend another such night. Though to by a world of happy days, so full of dismal terror was the time. We thought that I had broken from the tower and was embarked to cross to Burgundy, and in my company, my brother Gloucester, who from my cabin tempted me to walk upon the hatches. Thence we looked toward England and sighted up a thousand fearful times during the war of York and Lancaster that had befallen us. As we paced along the giddy footing of the hatches, methought that Gloucester stumbled and in falling struck me that thought to stay him overboard into the tumbling billows of the main. Lord, Lord, methought, what a pain it was to drown. What dreadful noise of waters in mine ears. What ugly sights of death within mine eyes. Methought I saw a thousand fearful wrecks, ten thousand men that fishes gnawed upon. Wedges of gold, great anchors, heaps of pearl, inestimable stones, unvalued jewels, all scattered in the bottom of the sea. Some lay in dead men's skulls. And in those holes where eyes did once inhabit, there were crept as twere in scorn of eyes reflecting gems which wooed the slimy bottom of the deep mock the dead bones that lay scattered by. Richard Gloucester has set his brother up to take a fall by a strange prophecy. The G of Edward's heirs, the murderer shall be. We remember that from the very opening speech of Richard III. And here he is, Captain the Tower of London, waiting to die, not knowing that eventually it would be by his own brother's hand. And this speech is rather portentous of that doom, that his brother will one day drown him in his own blood. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, there's a comment section below this video, and I love to hear from people. Please leave a comment down there if you have any questions or concerns. There's also a subscribe button, and if you click that, there will be a new Shakespeare video in your YouTube feed every single day, as there is a new video every single day. Until tomorrow, cheers.